So this is some and really tough is, experience uh, for Bur Bratos. Three rounds up to five minutes. The sponsor of the final six is the most funniest internet site in Slovenia, eastclub.com. We are introducing in the blue corner 34 years, 84 kilos, 186 centimeters, 10 wins, 6 losses. Coming from Austria, Marcus Gallo. In the red corner, 30 years, 84 kilos, 185 centimeters, 5 wins, 2 losses, coming from Slovenia, Paul Playboy Bratko! Well, this is going to be a sparky encounter for both men. De Gallo, very technical, great hands, straight punches, uses the left-right combination very, very well. Bor Bratos, he's a rush merchant. He's going to want to come in early, take it to the ground, and choke De Gallo out as soon as possible. Let's see if the submission tactic is going to work here tonight. Bratos has a lot of power and a lot of leverage. Good spread from Degalo. He was nearly taken there. Underhooks. Double leg takedown. And Bratos just satisfied with the single. Goes into side control. Powering forward. Bratos looking forward to jumping into cross from cross mount into that full mount position. Gallo not in a position to use the knees. And Bratos does it, but he's caught. And De Gallo, quick enough for an open guard. And this is where Bratos comes into his own. De Gallo needs to be careful because Bratos will come in very hard and very powerfully. And he's in on top of De Gallo. There's the ground and pound. Tries to go round the back already. De Gallo covers up. Cross face from Bratos. Starts to put the ground and pound in. De Gallo holding him. De Gallo. Half guard. The legs in there. Bratos is trying to spread. De Gallo bringing him in tight. Bratos trying to get enough room to start the ground and pound. Let's get busy, guys. Let's see some action. And the referee saying, stop having lunch, start to punch. Bratos in danger of getting a heel kick. Tries to come in fast and hard. And De Gallo's seen the videos, knows what he's about, gets a leg in the way. Bratos powering the hand of De Gallo down. And there's some blood coming, I think, from the mouth of Bratos. The nose, it's hard to see. There's the Kimura. And Tagalo doing a very good job in his groundwork of tying Bratos. This is great work from Tagalo. Really causing problems on the ground for Bratos. And the playboy not having it his own way. And it's hard to see where the blood is coming from. It might be a cut on the hand, actually, or the thumb of Borg Bratos. Bratos tries to go from the top. De Gallo, desperate not to let him get there. Side control for Bratos again. De Gallo desperate to hook over and close the guard. De Gallo with 
half a butterfly there. And uh, there's a cut underneath the right eye of Bord Bratosh. And Degalo's seen it. He'll try to use his hands here. Lots of swelling. And Bratosh not used to this. That eye looks very dangerously like it could close. Bratos will want to finish this quickly. There's the power, there's the leverage, down he goes, single leg takedown. Bratos in half guard. That eye closing very, very quickly. Bratos will try to maneuver for a quick end to this. There's the ground and pound. Bratos using every opportunity to make Degalo's life uncomfortable. Gallo still managing to get a leg in. No, he hasn't. There he is. He's in full mount, Bratos. And he's got the leg round for a triangle. Just watching. This time, De Gallo powers through to the controlling position. And Bord Bratos having to settle for an open guard. So controlling it from the ground. Bratos having to give the dominant position away to Digalo. 11 seconds, there's the 10 second clapper. And at the end of round one, a great opener for both fighters. They're going to have to work furiously in the corner of the play ball. De Gallo really managed that very well. Bratos tried to end it quickly in the first, and he didn't have his way. De Gallo denied him, and the frustration might cause psychological problems for Bratos going into this second now. Degalo had a very, very clever ground game. Seconds out. Working full out on that eye, you can see. Trying to keep it open, trying to stop the bleeding. Said we've got one of the best blood teams in the fight game from the UK. We go to round two for this WFC MMA rules clash between seasoned and experienced fighter Marcus de Gallo and one of Slovenia's favorite fighting sons, Bor. Play Bor Bratos. Well, they've done a great job on that eye for Bor. They've smoothed out the swelling, stopped the bleeding, and into the second now, it's all to play for. Very close to the first round. I wouldn't like to call it. There hopefully will be something decisive here. So, Butterfly Guard closes it to Gallo. His ground game is really, really superior. working defensively and there's the heel kick and again and Bratos slow off the mark and that cuts opened up oh and there's a leg bar has he got the leverage the Gallo having to really lift up to take the pressure off Bratos hasn't got the leverage but he's got control of the right leg back into that open guard Tries to work the ground and pound. And Degalo's ground game has been absolutely brilliant. They need to keep the action continuous, otherwise referee Grant Waterman will restart them. And being closed down brilliantly by Degalo. Bratos trying to reach in for that ground and pound. Not able to do it. 
to Gallo brilliantly. Spoiling Ratos's attempt. So just trying to work the margins there with some punches, but not enough leverage. Halfway through this second round. Marcus de Gala trying to bring it to the upright. Bratos not letting him, wants to keep it on the ground. Bratos has had some great KOs with his hands. But he seems to want to do this on the mat. Levering that hand down from that side mount position. Carlo has got his head out of the ropes. Referee's going to have to stop it. He gets restarted. Okay, happy? That's fine. Half guard. Ratos trying to work some margin here against what is a brilliant, brilliant ground game from Marcus de Gallo. Now, I think the left eye of Marcus de Gallo is starting to show signs of red. I'm very surprised that Bratos got cut so early in this fight. Really interesting to see. De Gallo worked the mat very cleverly here. Closes the guard, and yet the left eye of De Gallo causing problems as well. Driving forward, Bratos looking for the chance to put some heat on those shots going in. Half a minute left in this second round. Gallo really got this right here. Really got the focus on Bratos's charge in there for the pound and ground, and he still got a leg in the way. And poor Bratos didn't get the clean in that he wanted. The 10 second clapper. And De Gallo has an arm for an arm bar. Oh, and that was. An absolutely crunching body slam. Well, at the end of the second, this is turning out to be a war of attrition between these two fighters. Jerry Turek in the corner of Marcus de Gallo, playing corner man. Jerry Turek himself, a WFC champion. Let's take a look at the replay here and you can see for every drive that Bor Bratos took forward De Gallo had an answer for it and he kept him out and for two rounds now Bor Bratos has been denied clean access at the ground and pound and I don't know whether Seconds Bratos is off his mark or whether De Gallo is doing an absolutely stunning job of keeping him out. We just have to see. Third and final, this is where it all counts. <laughs> round three, the third and final round. Marcus De Gallo takes on Bor Bratos. It's been so even, but there's the takedown. Went for a single leg, wasn't clean. In the end, there was a little bit of hench involved, so a valley drop. Side control. Bratos trying to advantage. He does beautifully done, and he's got the ground pound now from that mount position, but De Gallo spoils it again. Bratos in the mount, it's not clean but enough to get the shots in, and De Gallo covering up. 
Bratos now, top mount. What can Degalo recover from this? Well, Bratos now pouring on the pressure. And uh, a restart. This is where we're going to see who wants this the most. A restart, and the crowd here willing Bratos on. Hasn't got the room to move, he has. Starting to put the punches in, and it's overwhelming now as Bord Bratos drives forward. He's got the full mount position. In goes the ground and pound. Degalo taking immense shots. There's an armbar. Has he got the submission on this? The top half. He submitted Marcus Degalo. Absolutely brilliant. It's a tap out. Bord Bratos has proved his credentials here today. Marcus Nogalo really provided an incredible, incredible ground game. Huge effort from Nogalo. He really trained and had Bor Bratos' number in every move. But Bratos did it. And the play ball, seven wins here at WFC, and he's really proved his credentials. And we have the winner in the fight number six. By technical knockout, directly submission in the red corner, Bor Bratos. Well. It was executed beautifully. He overpowered Degalo in the ground and pound. Degalo had played everything right, but Bratosh from that mount position.